So our next shark uh, in Shark Week. It's a little more popular. A little more popular. Well, you, uh, uh, oh, so you've been talking about some pretty obscure. Now this yeah. one's a little more popular. This okay. is the Great Hammerhead. Okay. Essentially, if you think of a hammerhead shark, this is the one you're thinking of. Okay. <laughs> there are different species, but this is the main one. Okay. Um, and... Uh, well, I, get, I mean, obviously, I have some questions about yeah. how all this operates, but you talk, and then I'll jump <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll describe. So that thing on the front of his head, well, its head, is called a cephafoil. Cephafoil. Where is it? Um, near, under the 20 feet, a little bit there. Okay. Cephafoil. Ce here. Cephalofoil. Ce that. Cephalofoil. cephalofoil. Okay. okay. It holds a lot of electroceptory organs. Okay. So they uh, detect electricity. A lot of sharks do yes, that, don't they? But, okay. But they specifically have a head to like scan uh, the ocean floor. Okay. And so one of their favorite prey is stingrays. So they can find buried uh, ones and grab them. Okay. okay. But they, they also just eat fish and other so stuff. So kind of like their receptors are specifically yeah. more or less focused down yes, instead of in the front. Because they'll go over the ocean floor and find a stingray and grab them. Uh, I gotcha. Because okay. stingrays hide okay. in the sand to avoid predators. Okay. But Where most sharks are kind of... They can tell which direction something is. Yeah. This one specifically is looking yeah. at the ground, m yeah. mostly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And but they're also not really that aggressive, even though they can get twenty feet long. Okay. Um, people can feed. People have fed them before. They're okay. not. Oh, I mean, kind of like a ray. It sounds like they're so their mouth's on the bottom, kind yeah. of like a ray, which they eat, which is kind of. Funny. Kind of yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So they're actually they're not aggressive at all. They don't really attack people. Okay. I mean, if you try to do something dumb with it, it might attack you. Right. We have a story next week's creatures. Okay. I talk about another shark, and this, the, like, when it attacks, you're like, really? That's what you did? <laughs> now, uh, now their their eyes are more like a deer's yeah. on the side, so depth perception not particularly they, a thing no. with them. Okay. No, and I'm assuming they have a blind spot. I think directly in, the in front. front of them, they might have a blind spot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, so they're they, more, but they can sense with electricity. So. Well, that's true. So they're more as they're as they're scanning the bottom for electricity. Yeah, they're just kind of watching to the left and right. Yeah. Do, do I guess I haven't asked. Do most sharks have predators? Like, does any do other sharks? Other shark, predators sharks. Sharks eat shark? each, different types of sharks eat each other. Each other is it and common though? I mean, it depends. I think. Okay. And okay. then with great white sharks, they sometimes get hunted by orcas. Oh, that, yes. Okay, I knew that, yeah. yeah. Or if anything's hunting larger sharks, it's orcas. It's an orca, okay. It's a it's okay. a pot of orcas. Okay. Apparently, they like to hunt great white sharks for their livers, I heard. Oh. Also, if you're wanting livers, the most nutritious part of a body in most animals. So, if most animals will eat the liver first. Hmm. So, for example, with... And people also hunt livers for their oils, because we're just weird. <laughs> And uh, endangeredness? Yes, they're critically endangered because they're shark fins, obviously. But also, right. hammerheads are actually pretty popular in the sports fishing industry. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Do they just look cool stuffed on a wall? I what? guess. I mean, I, uh, I don't yeah. get hunting as much okay. as, uh, and fishing. But there's laws being put in place. Okay. So, and... Great and hammer... breeding in zoos or anything? I don't. Great hammerheads are a little big, but I okay. think possibly. Okay. Maybe. I think. Maybe. I think they, I, there might be a couple aquariums with them. Okay. I'm not positive. Hey, I'm thinking even our aquarium when I was talking about no. the eggs last episode that the, yeah. the, the pot. I've only seen those there a couple of times. Yeah, I mean, but those not... are bamboo sharks. Those are small. Yeah. Those are pretty tiny. Yes. Yeah. Those are like a couple feet. Yeah. I could hold one. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, they've put a bamboo shark in the stingray tank to pet before. Okay. I mean, in an area where they can go deep and not get touched as they don't want. Right. Like, they got somewhere to go hide. The biggest sharks in captivity are whale sharks. Okay. And there's like... Oh, and that's Georgia we saw. There's them. Georgia yeah. and like one or two aquariums in China, and that's it. Oh. Okay. Because they're pretty... I and mean, you got to have a tank that's pretty yes. massive for them. And great whites <laughs> don't survive in captivity. Okay. What One aquarium managed to do it for right. temporary amounts of time, like up to like 170 days. Okay. But... That was they eventually released it back into the wild. Okay. And because was right, it what, hurt or something? Uh, were... I don't know. I, they were just seeing if it could be done. Really. Uh, okay. But the great white sharks, they need to swim. They're right. ram breathers. They have to swim to breathe. Right. They eat specifically sea mammals. Great white sharks specifically hunt sea mammals in general. Uh, okay. So they so we, they need dolphin and seals mainly seals, seals. or something. They mainly okay. hunt seals. Okay. So they need that, and also they're used to swimming. 
all the time, so they would often run into the edge of the enclosure. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. like, it's not real. They're not really. They're not I don't think. I don't think we're ever going to see a great white in an aquarium. Long which is term. probably good that yeah. we won't see one. Right. <laughs> but whale sharks are not as bad. Okay. Georgia, I don't know what happened because they had four they or several, three. Yeah, they yeah. had two when we and got there. And big, great ray. The uh, stingrays are stingrays are in the that were massive though. No, I mean, yeah, they were pretty big at the Discovery Cove. They had big ones. Well, that's true. That's and they're true. probably just yeah. younger. That's true. But yeah, whales. Well, something happened because Georgia. I think there was a horrible accident in Georgia because they had uh, like three or four. Okay. I think an accident, not normal. The whale sharks have been fine there. I think there was a freak accident that happened. Okay. And like one or two died somehow. Right. But like it was a freak accident. But other than that, they're, they're happy and healthy. Yes, and... they feed them. Yes, the sharks are fine. They've been but fine. I, I okay. think there was a... Because Georgia Aquarium is ACA accredited. So like if they weren't, right. it, it, they wouldn't have the accreditation. And that's... Okay, so so um, tell us about this toy and then I got a question about ACA yeah. accreditation. Um, so, so this is a Slake toy. Okay. It, once again, they're kind of mixed. But right. they have this Eldrado line of fictional stuff. Mm. I really like it. They're oh, really okay. good. Okay. And in ge- their actual toys are kind of mixed, but like this fictional stuff, since it's fictional, they're really good at it. So. Yeah, cool. So Slyke is kind of hit or miss, but okay. they make good quality toys, right. in my opinion. They're just not always accurate. Not as accurate. But okay. they make good quality. They're, they're pretty big. Most of them have, a lot of them have, recent ones have like an articulate mouth at the very oh. least. Some of them have like tails and limbs that move. So. And this particular one, pretty accurate. Yeah, the, the, it's, a, it's a hammerhead shark. Hammerhead you can't shark. really okay. get it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, AZA uh, accreditation. What do you know? Basically, what does it t- what does it mean to be? AZA it means you have a hundred percent like perfect care of your animals. Okay. Like if you get any points off, you're not getting. The they don't have a lot of tolerance. No. For, okay. Like like if you get a ninety nine on the test, you fail level. Of okay. Accredit- and okay. hell, um, Columbus lost its accreditation because it had a money scandal. Not mm. even like, they okay. cast the animals, but they had a money scandal and they okay. lost it. Have they earned that back? Yes, yeah. they, they earned it okay. back. They earned it. It was okay. like they had they lost it for like less than a year. So AZA accreditation speaks to animal care management of the facility, yes. every aspect, education, okay. conservation, stuff like that. Okay, so if you're so if you're going somewhere. If you're trying to decide where to go, uh, a it's good to support AZA accredited just because to support them, yeah, uh, and you know help them. Obviously, finances are always and, a question, so it's yeah. good to support them. But also to, uh, if you're supporting a non AZA, then you're you, you don't know the type of care or anything yeah. animals could be getting. So it's if if you have the option, go to AZA, go to yeah. AZA and and, and support them whenever. And it's you not can. only big zoos. I personally volunteer at Cosley Zoo, which is a small local zoo in Wheaton. Right. And they got AZA accreditation, so right. it's if you deserve it. And when we say zoo, um, zoos the aquarium, and aquarium, the aquarium is AZA. Zoos and aquariums. Okay. It's the AZA is Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Okay. No, sorry, the and American it's Association of Zoological. It's the American Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Oh, Zoos and Aquariums. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Europe, I believe, has their own version of it. I'm not positive. Okay. But America but a, has the But it's AZA. a very, very high standard. Yes. There's no Specifically wiggle room. Specifically in America, the okay. AZA is a very There's high no standard. There's no wiggle room. So, yeah. so just, just to, to know when you see the AZA yeah. emblem. But that's... most big zoos like Brickfield, Lincoln Park, Columbus... Um, Houston, right. San Diego, Bronx; those are all AZA. Accredited. AZA, okay. Ma- in America, major zoos are usually and and AZA. and know that if if one of them temporarily loses their accreditation, look into why. Like look one was why. financial, and then they got and there that was something up, about back you know? when there was some famous guy who was with that zoo. And yeah, he like he traded for baby cats that he probably shouldn't have traded with certain yeah. people. But that was a long time ago, and I, he might be dead for all I know. Yeah. So, yeah. like, that zoo's probably fine now. But, yeah. Um, all right. So I think that wraps up. Uh, sorry, we went off on an a little AZA thing there. But I think that's important for yeah. people to know when you're talking about animals and wildlife and, yeah. and animal care and everything.